We welcome you in to week seven of the Mike Turner Show as Carson Newman falls on the road to a top 10 Lenore Ryan team, 36 to 23. Hello, everyone. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head football coach Mike Turner. And Mike, a contest that unfortunately <coughs> is defined by the first 10 minutes of the game and not the final 50 minutes uh, of the game. You outscore Lenore Ryan 23 to 20 down the, the stretch, but it was a 16 nothing lead that LR grabbed uh, in a first quarter that certainly followed Murphy's Law for Carson <laughs> Newman. Uh, first of all, how proud are you of your team for not uh, crumbling and battling back to, to make things uh, interesting? Well, I think you, uh, we've talked about it before about um, being common team or an uncommon team. And I think they showed yesterday that those kids have the heart to be a, an uncommon team and uh, the way they refused to, to fold. Uh, that would have been a very easy in, in that atmosphere and on the road, uh, but, but they battled back. We put ourselves in a position there uh, with less than two minutes to go. We're down by two. Uh, I, I do believe we could have just held them right there and not let them drive the field and uh, let them get happy before halftime and let us be the ones that were happy at halftime. But our kids came out in the second half, uh, had great resolve about them, uh, uh, made some plays that we needed to make. Um, you know, we had the uh, we had the one turnover there in, in that uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, but we, we were still battling to the end. Uh, a first quarter that uh, went about as bad as the first ten minutes could go for Carson Newman. Three and out on the first possession. Had some things set up that just weren't executed. And then Lenore Ryan uh, rips off a 65-yard run with Jaquay Mitchell to get the ball down to the one they punch it in. Uh, you think, okay, here's time to respond. Onside kick, lose the ball. What's going through the mind of uh, you and, and the coaching staff, the team, uh, as things spiraled quickly early? Well, you just got to get kids to uh, – you can imagine their uh, – you know, the, the heartbreak, you can imagine their emotions, and that's what we've tried to, to get them to, to not play with is emotions, uh, play with passion, and, and I think they did that. You, the, at that point, you just got to keep kids to understand you got to keep playing. You got to keep playing and make something good happen. Uh, and our kids kept playing, and, and they found a way to make some good things happen. There's something I think Michael Watrang and I both mentioned on air that early it had the feel of two of the losses, at least in the regular season, uh, that were just head scratchers and you're left thinking what happened, that 2013 game where Carson Newman lost 37-3. Uh, to uh, How are you able to prevent that result? Again, kind of the same situation, a SAC title contending LR team that's trending toward the top ten, but this time different. Well, I, I think the, uh, the long drive, I think, had something to do with it. I think... Uh, uh, getting the confidence back where we could uh, take the football and drive it down the field and make plays and, and uh, keep our defense off the field, uh, let them regroup. All right, uh, but I, but I think when you when you got something going there and we got, I don't know if it's a 20 play drive or a 19 play it's drive 20 or whatever, plays. and you drive it down the field and you get it in there and you you stick it in and boy there's life, you know, and that, now that life is back and then you understand there's plenty of time left on the scoreboard. Okay, plenty of time. Uh, but you got to get yourself out of the hole, and, uh, and our kids fought to do that and see where, hey, there is time left. There are, there are ways to keep playing and keep making plays. And that's, and that's, that's the game yesterday. I, I think, uh, um, you know, like me and Little Ryan, they made some plays. They, that drive there right before the half, they made some plays. Uh, the first snap, you know, that they got in the first quarter, they got to go 65 yards. and. Uh, you know, our first series, we had some things set up like we wanted to have, and you got to execute. Okay, yeah. you just got to execute. There were there were the, there were the opportunities were there to keep the drive alive and make something happen. Uh, but our kids fought hard, uh, uh, came back and and, and made uh, uh, to where it could have. You know, one break here or there could have gone the other way. Carson Newman falls on the road to a top ten team, twenty or thirty six to twenty three. We'll break down the first half moments when we get back after these messages on the Mike Turner Show. When I was trying to decide where to go to college, I had a list of schools that I just didn't think I could afford. And to be honest, Carson Newman University was on that list. But boy was I wrong. Between scholarships, state and federal grants, and funding directly from Carson Newman, I can afford a world-class education. 
and I'm getting that education at Carson Newman University. Learn more at cn.edu. Back of the Mike Turner Show as Carson Newman falls on the road to number eight, Lenore Ryan, 36 to 23. Adam Cavalier alongside the Eagles head man, Mike Turner. Mike, uh, we talked about the slow start, but let's talk about the positive response uh, that your team had over the final uh, 20 minutes of the first half. And it started late in the first quarter. LR had just scored to go ahead 16 uh, nothing after a fumble in Carson Newman territory. And you navigate down the field on a 75-yard drive, and Derek Evans is the one that bites it off with a 25-yard uh, rushing touchdown. Um, longest run of the season to that point that LR had allowed. What happened on that play that allowed you to regain some level of control? Well, I, I think the whole drive, we just uh, we made plays. Okay? Yeah. Uh, running backs, quarterbacks, receivers, uh, tight end, I, I think we made plays. Uh, we 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 tried to move them around and let them not be comfortable. Okay, give us a chance to make some plays, and then uh, uh, we ran the the midline with the option with the quarterback, and uh, he pulls it, and uh, nobody there. So he, he did a great job there, finding getting his way into the end zone. Uh, we we just uh, you know we were executing at times on a great level. And at times we didn't, and it went back. Uh, we've said it for four weeks now, and uh, said it in the hotel before we left, the locker room before we left on the field. Uh, you got to make plays on first down. You're not always going to be eight yards every time on first down, but you got to make enough plays on first down to keep the uh, second down manageable, the third down manageable. Uh, in that drive, I think we did that and did that well. Uh, combining running and throwing, and so I'm very proud of them. Uh, make it a two-score game, a possession, or a one-score game, pardon me, a two-point game, uh, a possession later with a championship caliber drive. Uh, 20 plays, 88 yards, you bleed 11-11 off the clock, uh, convert on a fourth down, get a little help with a penalty, um, but an otherworldly possession, uh, at least since I've been keeping track over the last eight years, it is the longest drive in terms of plays and time of possession that Carson Newman has ever gone on. Uh, pretty tough to play mistake-free football over 20 plays and stick it in the end zone. How did your team do it on that possession? Well, I, I, I think they they recognized the, the got to. <laughs> we were at a point that uh, that we had to make some plays, and and uh, you know we weren't we weren't looking to necessarily. Uh, uh, try to throw the home run. We wanted to take what they were giving us and take it in chunks. Uh, again, it goes back to keeping the defense off the field. Uh, but our kids were uh, you know, motivated and, uh, and they took care of the football. Number one, as always, first down percentage was good in that drive. And, and we dinked it around a little bit on yeah. them and changed the formations and things and, and moved them and, and made them be uncomfortable and, and quick snap the football, which was what we wanted to do to begin with. Uh, but it showed a great sign of courage and a, and a, and a great uh, uh, back to believing there in that offense. Uh, these were two teams, uh, kind of ir irresistible force meets mm -hmm. immovable object at, at times. Or that's the way it felt leading into the game. Uh, an LR defense that hadn't given up 50, more than 53 yards to any one individual rusher uh, and hadn't given up more than 100 yards rushing to a team, hadn't given up a 20-yard rush, uh, on and on and on. You can talk about what LR's defense hadn't done uh, coming into the, the game. You did all those things uh, against the Bears. Of course, the flip of that, Carson Newman's defense hadn't allowed X, right. X, and X and right. uh, LR. There, there was a, a nice give and take between right. two high-level teams. Uh, what sticks out to you about what you were able to accomplish against a team of the caliber of LR in spite of the loss. Yeah, well, I, I think it was uh, um, two evenly matched teams. I think they were very, very similar. Everybody kept saying that. Uh, uh, Coach Chronic before the game was talking to me and talking how similar it was. And uh, their radio guy, Jack Huss, who used to be the head mm -hmm. coach at Lenore Ryan, uh, very similar teams, very uh, similar philosophy. And, uh, you know, I, I was very, very uh, excited for our kids to be in that kind of uh, 
uh, situation. Oh, you know, being that kind of uh, Johnson uh, Wimbush uh, stood back behind uh, Evans. Okay. And then front and the Bears. Evans takes. Left, keeps uh, it left side. Left Evans left lowering left his right shoulders. Right Evans the second and right 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 there. Touchdown. This is a phenomenal drive for the Eagles. You gotta, <clears throat> you you gotta make plays when you gotta make plays. Okay, you yeah. just gotta do that. There, there's some games that you play that you might can get away with some, but in a game that you're playing a Lenore Ryan and a Carson Newman playing together, a uh, Every snap counts. All right? yeah. Every block counts. Every every step of execution counts. So uh, that's where it was yesterday. Carson Newman trailed at the halftime break, twenty-three to fourteen. We take a look at those first half highlights. Ham takes, gives Stevens up the middle, offsides coming, but Stevens is in. Touchdown Bears. LR. Takes a 6 nothing lead with 13.08 to play in the first quarter. Eagles had movement from the right. Back to the wing tee. Look for the Bears. Two slot backs bunched it to the line. Single setback is Bradley. Willingham takes. Throws out to the left side. It's picked off by Darius Williams. Willingham was buried by Houston in the backfield. Williams seizes the INT at the... 41-yard line and immediately hits the deck. Henderson with the pressure to produce the turnover. Can Carson Newman's offense take advantage? Trailing 9-0, 647 to play, first quarter. Wing T look again. Um, Stevens the fullback. And in motion, fake the handoff. Willingham will keep it right side, and Willingham goes over Darius Williams to get in the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. The play fake to the jet sweep for Ryan cut on third and 12. 2-1, Evans takes. Rolls the pocket right, looking to throw. Out to the right side. That's complete to Braxton Westfield across midfield. Up down at the LR 49-yard line. Javoris Smith forces him out of bounds. It's a 13-yard gain through the air to Braxton Westfield. Look, the two best players in this game are on the field at the same basketball. Second and two for the Eagles. Left hash at the Bears, 25. Evans takes. Option keeper, left side Evans. That breaks free over the middle. Evans across the five. Evans to the house. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Just the third rushing touchdown that LR's defense has given up on the year. Derek Evans, 25 yards on the option keeper around the right side of the line. Then he splits the hashes on the way to six. 16-6, Eagles have made it a 10-point game. 13-43 to go in the second quarter. Well, that's a great job by the offensive line, but that all gets set up because you're running some pot. Field. Kraft on to punt for the third time today, and again, you have to avoid Kyle Duggar. Snap comes back. Kraft picks it up, gets it off. It's a wobbler. Bounces at the 45, takes an LR hop. Now takes a Carson Newman hop across the 50, and Drake McCown will down it at the 46-yard line. Good. A full complement of timeouts. Johnson Wimbush split backs behind Evans. Four man front for the Bears. Evans takes, keeps it left side. Evans lowering his shoulders. Evans, the second effort, gets there. Touchdown, Carson Newman. Derek Evans goes through Kyle Duggar for six. And the Eagles are within a field goal after falling behind 16-0. 89 seconds left in the second quarter. What a phenomenal drive for the Eagles. 20 play, but never knew where the ball was. Beaver is into the game as the fullback. Slot back each way for the Bears. Jordan in motion. Willingham, play fake, back to pass. He's hit as he throws over the middle of the field. That is into the end zone and complete. Touchdown, Lenore Ryan. Demarius Hampton on the post over the left hashes. Finds Pater over the in and LR. 28 yards. Those are the first half highlights. Eagles trailed it 23 to 14. At the halftime break, Mike Turner, what was your message in the halftime locker room after LR's two-minute offense got in gear and Demarius Hampton caught a 28-yard uh, touchdown pass with 27 seconds left to make it a nine-point game again? Well, we wanted just to make sure they understood uh, they were as good as and they were very capable of winning that football game and we needed us to go out. Hey, we were down by nine. Um, you go back out, you continue to fight like they had been fighting. Uh, eliminate some mistakes as we go along. Uh, and, and, you know, I felt like we were in the ballgame, and I think our kids did too. Uh, I think after that opening 10-minute shock that they got over and, and uh, 
but, but at halftime, we tried to make a few uh, corrections there, offense and defense, make sure we, uh, you know, the thing with LR, uh, they're going to come at you, come at you, come at you, and they're finding a way that somebody's not accounted for. And in that drive, uh, we let a guy get behind us, which should, should never happen in that situation. You can't let anybody get behind you in that situation. So, uh, you know, we, we didn't want anybody in a, in a panic mode. We want to go out there and be confident and know that game was level. You know, we still had two quarters to play and still had the opportunity. Uh, defensively, you limit LR to a season low for total offense and 14 of the Bears' uh, 36 points come on fields that were, uh, I should say, uh, 17 of the Bears' 36 points come on fields where they started inside Carson Newman territory. How proud are you of how your defense accounted for yourself in spite of some slip-ups here and there? And those will happen against a top-10 team. Yes. Uh, to, to limit LR to what you limited them to. Oh, I'm very, very proud of them. And, and, and you know, people don't know, we were, we were shorthanded oh. yesterday, big time. <laughs> uh, we, we had two of, the, two of the top four defensive linemen were not there. Uh, they were here getting rehab and hopefully got them ready to play this week against Newberry. Uh, we took two offensive linemen in the middle of the week and put them over there to work as defensive linemen. And those kids gave a great account of themselves. So we make no excuses. Those kids make no excuses. Uh, football's football and it's, it's the next man up and you do what you got to do to be ready to play. But for those kids to be over there on that side, uh, you know, shorthanded a little bit, their effort, uh, uh, you know, their, their accountability was great. I think we would have noticed if Amin Stevens had uh, turned into a 235-pound bowling ball and gashed you dive after dive up the middle uh, without Brian Bembry in the game, or Jacob Varney as a second option, but Christian Jones, Logan Townsend, uh, you, you sealed off the dive yes. for LR's rushing yes. attack. Just how proud are you of a, a Christian Jones to drop of the hat to, right. to do what he did? Well, b both of those kids are great kids. and. You know, you call them in the office and one-on-one -on -one you say, hey, listen, this is what we need to do. No problem, coach. And we went right on and, you know, went with it. Uh, we, we, our defensive staff kept it simple this week because with all the, uh, the trades and the adjustments and the unbalance that you get uh, against Lenore Ryan, if you're trying to account for all of those, uh, kids get lost in the shuffle and they snap the ball fast and that's how a guy can gash you. And our kids kept it simple. Uh, they stayed in the gaps for the most part. Uh, still missed some tackles that we needed to make at that point. And uh, if you make that tackle at that point, that extra five or six yards isn't there. Carson Newman falls to Lenore Ryan at 36 to 23. We'll break down the second half after these messages on The Mike Turner Show. When I was trying to decide where to go to college, I had a list of schools that I just didn't think I could afford. And to be honest, Carson Newman University was